What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we're at Sylvan Glen Golf Course out in Troy, Michigan. It's my home course. And uh, I did a vlog here for course vlog number 16, um, which was last December. I shot a 44. I played the front nine. I did not play well. Hopefully we'll do better today. Uh, the weather was nice on this day, about 60 degrees and sunny. Um, it got a little bit rainy later in the round, but for the most part, the front nine was excellent weather. So hopefully we can take advantage of the good weather before the bad weather rolls in. So we're green side and two. We pulled our second shot and we got this chip. That we got to keep under a tree and I was actually trying to bounce it twice in the rough, and it only bounced once in the rough there with that pitching wedge. So definitely not um, what I had in mind. It just hit it a little too strong. Definitely going to need to practice those chip shots that are with less lofted clubs than, like, my Cleveland wedges. And so what do I do on the second chip? I hit it too soft. So there you go. An overcompensation. So we're already working for bogey, one hole in. I know, right? So about eight, nine feet up the hill. Just going to try to jar this one, get out of here. And I do that. And we have work coming back for double bogey, if you can believe it. So if you'll notice, I didn't, like turn away from the ball so I had a good read on this but it lips out and we're starting off with a triple bogey all right that was awesome so just an absolute downer to start the round and to be honest I was on the verge of just stopping filming for the day after that and just play but i figured after I'd keep a start going. like that it's hard to stay calm i should have gotten like a tea time 20 minutes later i rushed to get here after school and see what rushing gets you that lip out was nasty just try to bang it in for bogey just because I want to want to make it so bad. I don't protect against the three putt. Three putt from eight feet, like eight or nine feet. That was so bad. If my coach sees that, he might take me off the team. So I hit a good tee shot on uh, this hole. Just had to give myself a little pep talk there. I just wanted you guys to hear my thought process. You know, I feel like I don't do that enough on these videos. I feel like I don't um, do enough on-course commentary. But, you know, um, sometimes I just feel as though I'd rather just play the game. Try to do all the pep talks, all the um, that kind of stuff off camera just so I can focus on the shot a little more rather than the video. Because that's definitely something... Uh, my dad has accused me of doing is focusing more on the video than my game, which, I mean, that's somewhat true, but I try to get better at that. So we got a par on that hole. Number two's tough, but I kept it below the hole on the approach. I told myself just hit a 125 yards, just 90% swing with the gap wedge, and I got to about 20 feet, so it was good. Third hole, long par four. Um, apart from the green, I make short work of it, but uh, you guys are going to see that uh, this putt is probably one of the longest that I've ever putted. Like, nothing was this long at Highland. Nothing was this long at Legacy. Even though the greens were huge, I didn't have anything like this. Sylvan Glen's got a couple greens that are very deep from front to back. So I was just on the entirely 
wrong side of the green and I mean, yeah, I know it went 15 feet past, but wow, that's I mean, I, the way that I put it at Highland, you'd think I left it like 30 feet short or something like that. Um, I left this one short, though. I've got uh, about three and a half, four feet maybe for bogey. No. No, please. Say it isn't so. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot how to play golf. No. No. <sighs> We're five over through three holes. And then I hit this terrible drive into the trees. Wow, it cleared everything. So this shot right here was big. I needed to pull this off, and I did. I thought about going through the left opening, but I figured the wedge shot on two is really good. Give yourself another wedge in. I was willing to take the risk. I mean, when you've got, when you're five over three, three holes, you got to take some risks to get back into contention. So I hit a really, really good shot on this one as well. It's about five feet. This oh, thing is good. good. This thing is... I, When I walked up and I saw that it was this close, I was like, oh, my gosh. Birdie. That, that would totally change the landscape of this round, for lack of a better word. And I burned the edge. So... Tap and par, at least. I mean, we need more of those, right? So, off to the fifth hole, which is a 481 par 5. Um, no forced carry on the second shot. You just got to keep it to the left. So, real reachable for me. I hit a good drive. I got 210 in. Used 4-iron down the hill. I crack it, but I pull it. And there's a hazard over there, and I go in it. So, yeah. Yay me. Um, just when I thought I was home free. Am I right? So, we've got a pitch shot from about 30 yards. Really hoping to get this close. Oh, hits the pin. I'm not even when you hear that noise, it's probably pretty close. I, I kid you not, it hit the pin. Hopefully, hitting the pin signals yep. the change of fortune so in this round. Right so, side. got about a 10 foot putt. Um, slightly downhill. This whole green plays pretty flat, though, so I was pretty confident in this one. Um, it hit the pin pretty hard. I didn't have that much green to work with, but that's what happens when you hit it straight. Oh. And that's what happens. When you can't putt. It's another bogey. You have no idea how mad I was when that missed. I six inches away from the hole, I was thinking, oh, that's gonna go side pocket left in. Nope. So hit a good drive here though. One of the tightest holes in the course, I figured. Just hit driver, you've been fading it all day. The driver's actually been really consistent today. Every every drive has been like this apart from four, obviously, has been this nice little five to ten yard fade. It's been nice. It's been good. So, definitely taking advantage of those strengths on a hole that bends left to right. So, got a long putt here, and I don't even get close because the putter has just been all over the place. I rocketed number three long I lipped out on one I lipped out on five so the putter has been so bad today so I figure well I'm gonna three putt here oh no it falls there we go where's that been all day where'd that come from and where did this come from so there was somebody 
in a cart on the seventh tee and I was like what is she doing out there and apparently there was a hole in one contest going on so I figured I figured hole in one on video definitely gonna try to drain it come on right so the rules are if you hit the green you get your money back which was ten dollars if you get within 10 feet it's fifty dollars three feet is a hundred dollars and a hole in one is ten grand it's hanging on to the left edge of the green and it goes behind the Oh, sorry guys. It was a pretty decent shot and I just got unlucky. Um, the ball just absolutely shot straight up in the air. It hit like the left edge of the green. And I had no idea how it got back here. I thought the distance was absolutely perfect. And I figured out what had happened um, after this hole which I'll show you guys in a second, but for now, I'm just going to try to hit this shot. It was a pretty tough shot. I didn't have a lot of green to work with. I had sand underneath the ball. Oh, my gosh. Literally the best shot you can possibly have that can still piss you off right there. But at the time, I was pretty pumped that I had gotten it that close. I mean, <laughs> with my wow, luck, I should have seen that lip out coming. So, I mean, got to do what you got to do. Y'all got to so, be kidding me. Tap and par, though. That's nice. At least I didn't completely blow up on this hole. At least I didn't embarrass myself in front of that girl. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the last thing you want to do when you're playing golf is embarrass right. yourself, right? Right. right. <laughs> yes. Communicating telepathically with myself from three weeks ago. <laughs> Anyways, off to the eighth hole. And um, another decent shot. Just goes a little bit left of the green into the bunker. Um, I got to tell you, though, that's the third four iron I've hit today. And that's the third four iron that I've hit on or near on the screws. So... Four iron's getting better. All that practice in the winter's been paying off. And uh, I hit a good bunker shot here. I know I I raked it down with my foot there and placed the ball back. There weren't any rakes in the bunkers, and my golf coach always tells us if there's no rakes in the bunker, you can pick up your ball, rake the sand with your foot, and then place it back where it was as long as your ball didn't plug, which obviously by the trail that it made, you could see that it didn't. And hard, I get up and down leaves. from the bunker. Good stuff. How about that? Three pars in a row, all right. But um, we still have our work cut out for us because we've arrived at the hardest hole on the entire golf course. 445 yard par four with a creek in front of the green and I hit a five wood from about 197 out. I figured the lie was not good. It was real muddy and I figured a wood would probably glide through a chunk shot a little bit more. So like I've expressed before, a uh, top with a iron is usually better than a top with the wood, but a chunk with a wood is usually better than a chunk with an iron. So with that in mind, I hit a pretty good shot, and then I hit a pretty good chip shot to here. So we've got a chance at par. We've made pretty short work of the last few holes. So one putt left down the hill, and it drops. That's how you finish a golf vlog. Stay for the back nine. Hopefully we can keep this going. Excellent.
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Four, three, three, four to end the nine. Excellent, excellent golf. So, definitely salvage that nine holes with those four holes there. And um, par on four certainly helped as well. And two. I got six pars, six real good holes. So, just got to minimize the blow-up holes and we'll be good to go after that. Now, I want to show you guys what happened on number seven. So as you can see, as I'm walking up, you see that green sprinkler head right there? So my ball hit that and ricocheted up in the air over the bunker behind the green. And it was probably some of the worst luck that I've ever had on the golf course. Like, I cannot tell you the last time my ball hit the sprinkler head. Like, me and that girl both thought it was just going to barely snag the left side of the green. Nope. So, I lost my money, but I still got my par. I still got my four pars in a row to end the nine. Hopefully, we can keep rallying, shoot a 37 on the back nine, and break 80 for the first time on my home course. Definitely stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to posting that in a few days. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.